simple cubic structure is all you need to apply this to in IB chemistry. And that means that the atoms are directly above each other in the planes in the crystal, just like the diagram here. So x-rays come in, x-rays go out, and we're going to use the Bragg equation, which is n lambda equals twice times d, the distance between the planes, sine theta. First two bright spots, well that's n equals 1 and n equals 2. Lambda is wavelength, and there's the length there, meters. You may have to convert to get to meters, but you need meters. D, the distance between the planes, is also the diameter of the atom. So you can look that up on the periodic table later for the diameters or the radii. Theta is that angle there. And so let's just throw all the numbers in and see what we get. So setting n equals 1 for the first bright spot, multiply that by the wavelength twice times... Well, there's the radius of the aluminium atom. So I'm going to need the diameter D. So I'm going to need to double that. Copyright IB, the data booklet. And multiply that by the sine of the angle theta. And that gets me the first angle of the bright spot at 17.6 degrees. Three sig figs. And to get sine theta into the angle theta, you probably have to use inverse and sine on your calculator. For the second bright spot, let's change n to 2. Push all the numbers through again. Now I wonder if that's going to give me an angle twice as big. Nope, that's not how sines work. So the second angle is 37.2 degrees. Here's another question. So we're going to try to work out D, the diameter of the atom, then get R, the radius of the atom, and then look it up in the data booklet again. So if it's the first angle, N is going to be 1. Ah, oh, Now I've got the frequency there, and I don't need the frequency in this equation. I need the wavelength. So by using these equations, the speed of light divided by frequency gives me the wavelength. And so D is the distance between the planes, which we can also assume is the diameter of the atom. And so D is 4.76 times 10 to the minus 10 meters. I'm going to half that to get the radius. And so that comes out at cesium. Don't forget to account for the moving decimal place times 10 to the minus 10 times 10 to the minus 12. And we're done.